Hello and welcome to the premiere of Dynamite Training Entertainment. I'm Carlos, as I'm sure you guys know, here with Seth Dad 3000. I'm usually the man behind the camera, but now we're going to start doing some entertainment videos, incorporating some new mini-series, and today we're starting out with music. Yes, we are. Though we'll take it to movies and sports later on, but right now, we're going to list our top five favorite workout songs and discuss them. Alright, go ahead for your number five, Seth. Alright, number song. five, I got Dior by Pop Smoke. Everyone here knows I'm a huge Pop Smoke fan, and they love my Pop Smoke impressions. I'm not going to do it right no, now. I'm just going to do it. Uh, go ahead. Christian Dior, Dior, I'm up in all the stores. Big Pop Smoke guy, R.I.P. the man, but he has bangers for all lifts. What's your number five? My number five, I put Paradise, Daniel Caesar. I like getting music that puts me cool, calm, and collected, and that does the job. Daniel Caesar's got a beautiful voice, man. He's got a beautiful voice, brings the emotion out of you, but... I know personally, I'm more of like, get the anger out of me, pump me up for the lifts. You and Tyler behind the camera here, I know you guys like the sad music to motivate you. Yeah, man. I mean, sad music, it gets me angry in a way. You know, it gets me thinking mm -hmm. about past relationships, things like that. That makes me mad. And you know what they say about people when people get mad and they're calm? That's the most dangerous. Fact. That's the mood that he gets me in. Alright, let's move on to number four. Number four, I got the OG workout classic here, Till I Collapse by Eminem. Just a classic, man. Yeah, honestly. arguably his best song. How can you not love working out to that song? What you got at number four? Number four, I have 24 Freestyle by Logic. I had to throw Logic in here. I know he's kind of love-hate. A lot of people cook him up, but mm. he holds a special place in my heart. Give it a listen. Great song. Yeah, that's a very rapidy rap song with just a bunch of people coming in. Different flows and everything. Intricate wordplay. That's a good one. And then number three, another banger. When in Rome by Mac Miller. That song gets me hyped in the beginning, and then has a beat switch in the middle where he says he's at the top of his game. Look at the scoreboard. It yeah, get much very hyped song. I know Seth's a big fan of Mac Miller. I will admit, I didn't really start listening to him until after he passed away, unfortunately. But like, I instantly fell in love with him. He's a great artist. Um, continues the legacy. He'll come back on the list later. What you got, yeah. number three? Number three, I have, shout out to Tyler for this song. Product of Drugs, Kamiyata. This is a song that I think, um, if you need to go out and murder a weight, this is what you listen to. It's a maxing song, in my opinion. It's just blaring in your ears, and it's great, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone at these lifts that doesn't get super hyped when they throw that song on the Bluetooth speaker. We all love it here. I know Mitch is a huge fan. Tyler put us all onto it. That is just a banger of bangers to really get the weight room high energy. All right, number two for me, I got Ham, Kanye West, and Jay-Z. Like, they're about to go ham. Yeah. Like, you can't Kanye and Jay-Z, when whenever they're together, bangers. Yeah. Two great artists. Love them. Number two, I have Lead by Goto and Omen. What is that, 13? Pretty sure Omen 13. Another song that I think you should just max out to. Just gets mm -hmm. you hype. Beat drop is insane. Um, just gets the energy up there. Yeah, it's very Suicide Boys-esque. I'm not huge into Suicide Boys, but I know a lot of the other guys here love them. And these songs with just the rage and screaming into the mic really get the energy flowing for everyone here. All right, now on to my number one. Our number ones are very different in how the energy yeah. in those tracks go and the emotions. My number one is Stick Talk by Future. Like, everyone here loves Future, I know yeah. that. And that song is just... Probably his most high energy yeah, song. He starts it off with, definitely took is. a shot at Henny, I be going brazy brazy, and I just go brazy brazy and throw up the weight. And what yeah. you got for number one? My number one, I have That's Life, 88 Keys featuring Mac Miller. Great song, man, I just love it. Um, it's one of those songs, like I said, gets me just like cool, calm, and collected. And I'm gonna be honest, I listen to it a lot whenever I'm up for a challenge here at Dynamite Training Gym. Dude, that was one of the big tracks he put out at, right after they after he had passed. And holy crap, I almost shed tears when I first heard that song. I don't know how you PR to that. And like it just gets me gets me in a not a great mood, but just like makes you focused, makes you dig deep and like introspective on your yeah, life and that just yeah. pushes you. All right, um, I get that. Yep. So, this concludes episode 1 of Dynamite Training Entertainment. Leave suggestions for what we should discuss next. Um, yeah, All right, now.
Let's take it to the tunnel. The boys coming in with some nice fits. We're gonna get a good lift in. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed that segment of the video. Merrick, Mitchell, Kevin here from Dynamite. We're gonna show you some easy at-home workouts you can do with just dumbbells. Yes. Let's get it. First workout we're gonna be hitting is the goblet squat. The these parts work mainly on the quads of that area, so if you wanna demonstrate for that real quick. Make sure you get depth on that. Yeah, make sure you definitely get the depth on that. It works out the quads and all basically through your legs. So. Another version of this is you can put like a raised surface under you like a plate if you have one or just anything and you can that it helps you helps the quads grow more with doing that. All right, so the next workout we're going to be doing is dumbbell lunges. So you want to get two matching dumbbells and just basically do a lunge. Just like that. Make sure you get the 90 degree angle on both legs and you can just Crank these out, they're perfect for the entire leg workout. And you definitely want to include these if you want to grow your legs. So the next workout we're going to be including today is dumbbell step ups. So basically you want to get two matching dumbbells, hold them at your side and step up on this box. And you can do these anywhere, on stairs, on a chair, anywhere with a raised surface. You just want to step up on it and make sure it can support you. These are great for the legs and they, it's a very, very intense workout. Wow. All right guys, next we're gonna be working the chest. This first workout we're gonna demonstrate is a dumbbell crossbody. Mitchell's is gonna demonstrate. He's gonna bring matching dumbbells up to his side. Really emphasis on that chest, squeeze really tight. It's gonna help build your pecs, get those ladies, get the big bench going. Every chest workout you can hit with your cross bodies is floor bench. It's easy to do, you can do it anywhere. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. This is gonna demonstrate, it's gonna lie down flat on his back, 
and he's just gonna hold his arms like he's holding a barbell and just press up. It's also really good for your pecs. All right, the next workout we're gonna do is gonna work this upper back, it's the rear delt. You want a lighter set of dumbbells, and all you're gonna do is act like you're opening something up. This is gonna demonstrate for us the dumbbells. You wanna pinch at the top, it's working this upper back right here. Another part of the body you can hit just with dumbbells is your arms. If you want to get a nice bicep pump, you can do some uh, nice bicep curls. It works your whole bicep. Go ahead and demonstrate. You just take it, just make sure you get a good twist in there. Pinch at the top, flex your arm. Should give you a nice pump. Another great bicep and shoulder workout. You take the last workout, the bicep curl. You do that, bring it here, and then you rotate your arms up and you overhead press it. It's a shoulder and a bicep workout. Go ahead and demonstrate. Make sure you flex at the top of the curl and up top, flex those shoulders. Nasty pump, again, simple as that. Another part of your arm you can hit using just dumbbells is your tricep, it's right here. Uh, if you take a dumbbell, take it over your head like this, go down, up, flex your tricep at the top. It's great tricep work right there. Make sure you get full extension, flex at the top, you get some big tries. Another shoulder workout is front raises. You take two matching dumbbells, bring them to your sides, and then just straight up, keep your arms locked. Just bring them up, go ahead and demonstrate that. Make sure it's a strict rep, just rep that out. You should probably use a lighter weight for this, it's more of a difficult exercise. Give you a nice shoulder pump. Another one you can do, uh, take the dumbbells to your sides. These are lat raises. Just bring them up like that. Again, lighter weight. Just rep that out. Give you a nice shoulder pump. Build those traps. That's all you gotta do. All right, guys. I hope you found these tips and workouts useful. I hope you guys enjoyed the other parts of the video. We'll catch you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. DT for life, baby.